smooth. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This is Tough Choice with Kazim Rahman. I am your host, Kazim Rahman, on the hot seat today. This is his first time in Ignorant Studios. He's never been out of the village before. He's never been in the Ignorant Studio arena and welcome, Arthur Hamilton. How you doing, Arthur? Doing good, man. Thank you for having me in the Ignorant Studios. Thanks for doing this. Ignorant Studios, a.k.a. the corner in my living room. That's, yeah. what I, that's what I call it. I like to call it a studio. No one's here but us, but no. it doesn't matter. Hell yeah, I feel it's like great. We, we should, I should I should smoke weed in here, but it's your place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See? <laughs> Hospitality. Honestly, I feel like I, I should just smoke. Of, I should be able to smoke weed you, anywhere I'm listen, a guest. In, you know, in a free world, yeah, anyone should be able to smoke weed anywhere. Yeah, but not here. Yeah. So <laughs> this is just the life we live. Arthur, are you ready for this? I'm ready, guys. You know how we do it here. We don't really waste any time. The game is tough choice. You must pick between the two choices. You must explain yourself. You get one pass. You get one pause. And at the end, we have our final choice. <laughs> <laughs> Let it begin. Let it begin. All right, Arthur, we have a constant choice. I forgot to tell you this. Um, so every month, every guest will get the same first question. Okay. So first question, would you rather have a pack of ninjas sworn to protect you or be able to mute people in real life? No, I'd rather have a pack of ninjas Thank you. sworn to protect Thank me. Thank you. Because I love to see people know, get their ass whooped when they deserve it, you know? Do you know, the lo- I had the longest argument with Niles yesterday. You did? Because he wanted to mute people. <laughs> that nigga. And I'm like, yo, ninjas. 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 They will shut you know them up much, for you. Do you know how much shit I'm going to talk if I have a pack of ninjas? Yeah, I'm talking A shit. pack is at least seven or, we was just, seven we, or eight. We was just driving. And she's like, you know, you be careful honking at people. People been shooting people. If I had but those if ninjas, got, if nigga, I y'all had all ninjas, getting it. though. If I had ninjas, they all riding in my pickup truck in the back. I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm thinking about it. If I had ninjas, everybody's getting honked at. Everybody getting honked at for what? Everybody's getting honked at in LA for any reason. We're on the 405. No one's moving. Everybody's getting honked at. I don't care. What the fuck about? (laughs) uh, We gonna whoop everybody. Yes, of course. You okay now? Just to give full disclosure, what muting means because that question always comes up. What does it mean when I say be able to mute people? So you get to point at them. You mm-hmm. don't have to say anything. It's just in your mind the intention and you mute them and they're muted for five minutes. Hell no. Okay? And then you can only mute people within 10 feet of you. No. And still, I want these ninjas though. That's yeah, because the mute the mute thing is weird because like what if they don't know that they're muted and they still have that confidence and they still try to talk to your ass? Yes. That's annoying. That's and even you, worse. They won't know that you're the one that muted them. Yep. And you know, it's funny. We know a bunch of comedians that will talk your motherfucking ear Listen, off. And if I wasn't, <sighs> if I was just a regular person, yeah. I'd still want the ninjas. Yeah, for but sure. But now that I'm a comedian, you have to consider the muting of the people. You have to at least give that some thought. You have to. Yeah. There are too many comics that need to like stop talking. Yes, they for need at to least shut five minutes. The fuck up. You and ain't got you, five minutes on stage, but you got five yeah. minutes to talk to me about yeah. some shit I don't want to talk it's wild. about. It's wild. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah. So, but ninjas. Ninjas you going all with day. Ninjas. ninjas all day. I feel like ninjas could whoop a Karen's ass and get away with it. Nobody would know what happened because you know ninjas, no, no. Ninjas get in. They just get in and get and out. Get out. You know. Perfect. I never even thought about that. <laughs> uh, see. I'm going to get a pack. Okay, so you have to get female ninjas. If you get male ninjas, they can't beat up women. But if you get female ninjas, they they can can beat up up anybody. Everybody. Perfect. (laughs) That's perfect. Low key, that is pretty damn amazing. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather eat an ice cream cone covered in ants or eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich? No, eat a peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. Both of these are one time. I fuck with SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm going to go with the peanut butter and and jellyfish sandwich. I don't get that. Remember the episode where he was taking the jellies and they was fucking capturing all the uh, the jellyfish? We didn't have cable. We, why are you acting like we were we, we not no money like that? What are you talking? What are you talking about? We didn't either, but I we can't. had SpongeBob. They got <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know that episode. Well, you got to watch the episode. They was what episode they were, is this? I don't know the number. Was he eating jellyfish? He was taking the jellyfish, and then they were <laughs> fucking kind of like animal cruelty. <laughs> they were making the jellyfish essentially like squirt on the goddamn uh, Krabby Patties, and it was jelly. Really? Yeah, and they was making hella bread, but then they was fucking up all the jellyfish, huh. and the big ass jellyfish came and fucked up SpongeBob, and then he stopped fucking with the jellyfish. Oh wait, no, 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 he didn't kill. He didn't kill any jellyfish. No, he was just like taking all their like uh their jelly, 
and like uh, they were they were tired and they they were almost dead. Time out. Yeah. What was he doing to these jellyfish? I guess I he was. Just, it sounds like he I, was jacking them off. It sounds I like swear to God, I didn't. Ah! I didn't want to say that. <laughs> you were like, oh, he just takes all their jelly and he squirts on the bread. Yeah, see, and then he sells of... it and they were making money. And then the big jellyfish came and fucked SpongeBob up. <laughs> what? Where? Okay. I guess I'll do jellyfish too. I don't. I can't think of. Well, actually. If I do an ice cream code cover, oh no, never mind. Ants, I'm not. I don't ants be gonna fucking be in, with ants gonna like be in that. every bite. I don't be fucking with ants like that. And at least the peanut butter will peanut butter strong enough to cover whatever the jellyfish is. Yeah. Now, if you put peanut butter in a smoothie, it'll cover up the spinach. And oh the yeah, kale that, and stuff. Yeah, so gonna, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm assuming jellyfish tastes like spinach, and it'll it'll just cover it up. But now I gotta now I gotta like timestamp this to go check out that SpongeBob episode. Yeah, I don't even, I have no idea what the fuck you were talking about just now. Watch when you see it, you can be like, yeah, he jacking them SpongeBob off. SpongeBob and jellyfish. All right. Would you rather find out all your friends and family are paid actors or fly back and forth from Colombia with a pound of cocaine on your chest? I'd rather go with uh finding out that my family and friends are paid actors. Are you oh. serious? Yeah, cause uh my Arthur. family, my family didn't put me through a lot of bullshit. I'm like, okay, okay. at least y'all was getting paid for this shit. <laughs> y'all ain't just doing this shit for no. free. God damn. Y'all okay, I get, I get it, I get it. Mm -hmm. Come on though, all think of all your friend, all of Goon Squad, just so paid actors. Them, everybody, it's not. I'm not saying, and the question doesn't say that you can't make new friends. Right? Or you can't go find your real family. It just says... <laughs> Nigga, I know my right. family. No, I'm just saying. No, I don't. Find out all your friends and family are paid actors right now. I can't do that. Right but now. then again, ah, no. But then again, I just remembered, I just read the, part, the second part is like, flying back and forth with Columbia with a pound of cocaine on your chest. Am I getting money for that though? I'm assuming you're getting money for it. I don't think, I don't, I think the money is implied. I don't think the danger is really understood though. Pound of cocaine on my chest. How are you going to get through? Well, I mean, here's the thing. I'm thinking I can like go to El Paso, get like one of those little jets and just fly back and forth. But I don't know because there's no TSA at private airports. No. But who has, well, with the money from the cocaine, I can do that. I think I, 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 I guess I'm trying to say, I think I can figure out the cocaine thing. I think I can be a drug mule if it's just on my chest. You know, what if I said I'm going to take both? I find out my family and my friends okay. are paid actors. And I'm you taking get that money. And I'm taking the, the cocaine back and forth. I'm buying new friends and I'm buying new fucking family. Fuck it. You know what, Arthur? Look, this is the first time someone wanted both See? options. My family going to be Colombian, nigga, will, and all my friends. I will allow that. Yes, that I is. I will allow that. I won't allow that for everything. Don't be saying both <laughs> on the next 17 questions. <laughs> But for this one, I'll allow, I'll allow it. That's some baller shit. Man. That is some, that is. <laughs> hey, but Arthur, who that Mexican lady you with? She not Mexican, she Colombian. And that's my new mama. I just bought her. <laughs> <laughs> you can't buy your mom. Well, listen. Yeah, you can't. I mean, your friends and family were paid actors. So yeah, I mm -hmm. guess they were bought. Then you can buy new things. Yeah. Fair Fuck enough. Em. That's fair enough. Would you rather ride an anteater while you and the anteater are on meth or... Take the SAT over and over until you get a perfect score. Man, fuck that SAT. I didn't even take that shit. I don't. I've taken it. But I'm pretty sure I failed. You can't yeah. fail, but I'm pretty sure I failed. Does that make sense? That, yeah, for sure. Where it's like, I didn't. I don't remember doing well. Well, you're Nigerian, so your parents probably on your ass. Oh, like I was that. a, <laughs> I was a, listen, I'm a, I failed out of the first school I went to. So, <laughs> hey. I am a, and I want to tell dick jokes for a living. They don't, yeah, even, no, they don't they even like, care that I live by myself. No. The fact that I'm a comedian. Living by could, yourself in LA. They don't even care. I'm still a failure in their eyes. You know what? I'll, but what, I, are you, but I, what are you picking though? I don't think I could go with. I don't think I could do math. I can't do math. That's the one thing. I cannot Even the do. one time. Especially on the anteater. Like who the fuck is it? Who, who, who is excited about being around an anteater? They also, I don't weird. know how big an anteater is. Are they, anteater they're pretty big? big. They're pretty big. Can yeah. I ride one? Uh, No, they're pretty low to the ground. Maybe like two, oh. th two three feet tall. And the anteater's on meth also. Oh yeah. Fuck. Who don't know what he's going to try to do with that long nose? It's going to be weird. <laughs> But then you have to take the SAT over and over again. Think about it this way. Not over and over again, but like every other Saturday. You know what? You have to take the SAT. I'll it's take a, the, it's take a morning exam and it's like three hours long. I've been doing shrooms a lot. So fuck it. I'll take the SAT over and over and watch me get a perfect well, score. Really? Then I'm going to rewrite that shit. 
<laughs> you can't yeah. rewrite. You can't rewrite the SAT. All the questions gonna have nigga in it. Yeah, that's that's. Listen. So, nigga, what is the Pythagorean theorem? <laughs> that's not on. The, <laughs> I know for a fact that's not on the SAT. <laughs> Wait, it might be on the SAT. I don't know on the math portion. Yeah, it probably is. Really? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Probably is. Look at us, two stupid people not knowing what's on I the know. SAT. <laughs> We're so dumb. All right. Would you rather? <clears throat> okay. Huh, this is stupid, but we kept this question anyway. Would you rather have a butt plug in your butt for a month? Listen, wait, or have to have a pacifier in your mouth for five days? I'm going with the fucking pacifier. Hear me out. What? Hear me? No, I didn't say I. I'm not answering the question. I'm just saying you. It answered, sounds like you answered the question. Saying, I'm just it saying you're telling you me there's a better answer for me to I'm get. I'm just saying you answered <laughs> fast. And let me explain. You have to look at pros and cons here. We have rules. You always look at both sides. Okay. Now, and a wear a butt plug for how long? A month. What if I got a fart? You know, that's just like that. Okay. Rules. You can take the butt plug out if you need to like take a shit and stuff. Uh huh. But okay, for like twenty hours of the day, you have to have your butt plug in, and then for four hours, you can have it out. So like, if you need to fart, if you need to take a shit, if you need to like do your business, take a shower, you need to clean the butt plug every now and again. I'm assuming. And farts are gonna right? be, have no noise. No one sees the butt plug. <sighs> Everyone sees the pacifier. I'm Does with that it. makes sense? That makes sense. I'm with By it. By the way, can we just, can we circle back? What? I just processed that joke. You're so stamp stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it just, you know how sometimes you hear something and you're, but you're still talking and yeah. then it processes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. For a month, a month. Yeah. Your booty is going to be on silent mode. Yeah. <sighs> your, your, yeah. Your farts will be silent. Yeah. Your boo-boo too. It's just, I, yeah. Yeah. Your, your boo-boos will be easier now, right? Let's say you're constipated. Boom. Your butt is loose. Yeah, you're done. It'll all come out. You are so I think there are, okay, so there are, there are benefits to a butt plug, mm -hmm. right? Well, I mean, let me not say, because mm -hmm, I don't know shit. I don't know either. I'm just saying, for the pacifier, though, it's only five days, but everyone sees you with a pacifier in your mouth, right? Now, you could bedazzle it, I guess, maybe, nah. but- it's still a pacifier. You're still going pacifier. Yeah, I'm still going pacifier. You saw a menace to society. Don't be a menace to society. I saw that. Both but of them. Nigga had the pacifier. If you see a black nigga with a pacifier in his mouth. I'm scared. Nobody's going to fuck with I'm you. I'm definitely scared. Nobody's. I'm not gonna lie. Next yeah, you're time right. I go to middle America. You're right. Where there's a bunch of white people, I'm taking a pacifier. That makes sense. That makes sense. No one's really going to fuck with you if you nope. have a pacifier in your Nobody's going to fuck with you. They're like, this just nigga in just, your mouth. Yep. Just chilling. Just in your mouth. You take it out to talk real quick. You put it right back in. Right to, back. To finish the conversation. Okay. Yeah. Pacifier. Makes sense. Would you rather have horrible acne on your eyelids or tickle whoever's in front of you every time you're waiting in line for more than one minute? <laughs> <laughs> now, question: Can you fight? Yeah. Like, do you feel like you can fight multiple people, possibly multiple people at once, or definitely multiple people consecutively? Because if you're tickling people, you tickle whoever's in front of you. Yeah. You tickle whoever's in front of you. Damn. If it's a woman, I'm gonna have to take that asshole, but I can't. Yeah. Fight her back. Yeah. You I tickle whoever's in front of you. Or horrible acne on my eyelids? Or horrible acne on your eyelids. For how many days? All these are forever. Oh, yeah. No, I'm tickling them, motherfuckers. You're Fuck tickling? That. Yeah, because then, I, you know, some people might be, you know, they might be like, ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hit you with my elbow. I just, I'm very sensitive to tickles. And, you know, I might make friends like that. <sighs> Who? I don't Who's know. Who's going to say that? Some weird ass no white person. One. I don't know anyone that's going <laughs> to say that. Especially because we live in LA. A lot of these guys are weird and they take MMA classes yeah. and, they're, and they're ready to fight people. I like they're just ready to fight people for some reason. For some and no reason. But you know what? If I had pimples on my eyelids, I'm not going to get booked. Who the fuck wants to book a nigga with pimples on his fucking eyelids? That's true. I know I wouldn't. That's true. If anybody out there got pimples on their eyelids, like just know like I that. am not going to yeah, book you. Don't right. ask to hit my blunt. Don't come close to me. Just yeah. Keep your ass over there. Or and it says horrible. It's not it's not even like regular acne. It does the question does say horrible. Oh yeah, no. no Damn. No. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, fuck that. That no. sucks. It's disgusting. Then we got to tickle people? Yeah. I, mm. You know the weird thing? If I had money, I would just send people to go shop for me. Yeah. Because I wouldn't, I really don't want to risk my life like that. You don't I know don't who got guns, especially in, in the South. 
Oh, yeah. If you're in the South, someone has a gun. Oh, yeah. So you're going to just tickle random people? Yeah, you're going to get shot. Old yeah. white men? It's over. It's over. You, you trying to rape me? Yep. Yeah. He's going to have those uh, his, uh, his sexual identity problems and, you know, to shoot you immediately. <laughs> sexual identity. <laughs> Some guy gets tickled. He's he's angry that he liked it. So, uh, now, so now you gotta die. Now you gotta so die. Now you now gotta, I gotta die. Fucking kill you. And then yeah. after he kills you, he's gonna kiss you on the lips. But then yeah. he's he gonna make sure But you'll be dead. Mm-hmm. You'll be dead. Yep. Weird white dude shit. Would you we need a sound effect for that? We're gonna get a sound effect. Weird white dude shit. <laughs> Would you rather say like after every five words mm. or eat a spoonful of sawdust with every meal? No. Nah, Both I, of these are every time. I'll just say like after every five words. What is okay? Sawdust gonna Spoon- hang your boo boo all fucked up. Really? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's just not we're not supposed to eat that. Sawdust? I'm trying to think. I guess I could just sound like a white valley girl. After every five words. But as long as I have every that every five words. As long as I have that pacifier in my mouth, niggas ain't gonna like, say shit. As long as I have like, like that, that pacifier, pacifier in, in my, my mouth, mouth like niggas, niggas ain't, ain't gonna, gonna say, say shit, shit. Like, like you a weird ass nigga. <laughs> huh. It's not that bad. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not that. After I counted, it's five words isn't that bad. No, it's not that bad. I like, would I would talk slower, definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're right. Sawdust. I didn't think sawdust. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think sawdust was all that bad. I didn't know it was gonna mess up your stool or anything like that. Yeah, fuck your stool. I up. thought sawdust was just sawdust. I don't Remember, know. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Dennis the Menace. Yeah, like, this chicken tastes like paint and wood. It's not I a good. I don't. I don't. You understand. don't remember? God. This is the second reference Damn that it. you've said that I don't get. You go watch. Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. Okay. Go watch Little Rascals. I just watched Little Rascals. The other yes, day. I remember Little Rascals. That shit. I we was, had that on tape. I was dying. We had that on tape. And go watch that SpongeBob episode. You gotta. I have to watch SpongeBob episode. I have to watch Dennis the Menace. Mm-hmm. I have to watch Little Rascals again. Yep, again. Cool. I can do that. Yeah. This chicken tastes. <laughs> Say that one more time. Because <laughs> he made chicken. He's like, oh, this chicken tastes like wood and paint. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah. was that his dad or something? No, it was the Dennis the Menace. He was the Menace to like his neighbors, his old white couple. Oh. And he fucked with the chicken that they were making. Oh, I know, I know Dennis the Menace. Yeah. He had multiple movies. I think so. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there was a cartoon too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. In the live action movie. Huh. This is just making me feel like I had a very limited childhood. Your childhood All was right. trash. Nigga, damn. Was triangle. We didn't get SpongeBob. We didn't get Dennis the Menace. All we got was Little Rascals on VHS. God oh, damn. It. God One damn. Of my parents would have like worked harder. Anyway. <laughs> So, would you rather never be? My parents worked hard. Let me. Let me <laughs> they gonna me fuck your that. ass up if they hear this. Add that in. Let me Don't. add that in just in case. Would you rather never be able to use a microwave again, or make every decision by flipping a coin? Fuck a microwave. I only have one right now. I need a microwave. No, fuck the microwave. I need a microwave. Heat your shit up in the. How oven. many? De- how many decisions do you make a day? Like in all fairness. A lot. I don't make a lot of decisions. Today. I do. I make do I very a, few. Do I roll a blunt now or later? Do I like this picture? Exactly. No, no, no. Do I roll a blunt now or later? You flip a coin. If you have to ask yourself that question, then flipping a coin should be fine. I usually tell myself. Do yes. I like this picture? That's fine to flip a coin to double tap something. No, nah, no, no. Not not like on Instagram. Like when I'm editing pictures. Oh, for your job. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. That should take me. No, forever. you're talking about for your livelihood. That's uh, different. Yeah. That's it, different. Ain't okay. No t- I couldn't flip a coin to give somebody an Instagram like. Fuck them. Shit. Yeah. I can flip a coin and give to my Instagram like I'm just a hater anyway. So uh, no, one's like, no one's just getting likes from me just I, all willy nilly. I'll unfollow a motherfucker if they post some whack shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, have done that. I have done that before and I am not ashamed. And I'll still say I hi to him and be nice to him in person. I don't care. Listen, <laughs> you're listen, that stand up set you posted was trash. Yeah, that's so fucking you need whack. to get unfollowed. Your energy's weird. Um stay yeah. away. Dang, so we just gotta now now that you're I do make a lot of decisions for work. Yeah. That I that I can't flip a coin on. I just you know decisions that you just have to think about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got to be a process. It's a process. Damn, I can I can do without a microwave, but I, it's a shift. It's a shift. <sighs> the microwave. Do you cook yeah. your own food? Mm-hmm. I cook my own food too, but I still I still use a microwave to speed things up. It is sometimes. cool to have a microwave, but damn man, I can't flip a coin though. All those, all those. I really can't flip a coin. You can't. I can't flip a coin to make a decision. 
now that I'm really like processing it, nah, I can't flip a coin. Yeah. That's just like, because think about it. You're on stage. You do your first joke. In your mind, you're like, what's my next? What joke do I want to do Where next? Am I, oh my you have to God. pull out a coin and flip it real quick? Who the fuck am I? The that's Riddler, weird. nigga? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Would you rather permanently have one half of a handlebar mustache or be able to only eat things that come from a can, that oh. come in a can? Yeah, fuck. I mean, I do like to eat like black beans that come in a can. That's fine. But I did only have Only canned a- food? But no, yeah, I can't eat. I don't like canned tomatoes, canned potatoes, canned uh, sweet potatoes. Well, you've never used canned tomatoes before when you cook? Yeah, but I don't like them, though. It's mm. like, I don't, uh, I don't like it. But I used to have a handlebar mustache, actually, when I was like 22, 23. Okay, okay. So half to, of that. Fuck it, I'll take the half of that shit. Half of that? Yep. Conversation starter. Arthur. Yeah. Hear me out. No. Cans aren't that okay. What are the what are the downsides from cans? You just don't like cans. No, some of the shit just tastes weird. That's that's fair. Mm-hmm. But you permanently have a handlebar mustache. Okay, I guess since it's permanent, people will get used to that. I shit. I guess since it's permanent, everyone will use. Everyone get used to it. We are we we have gotten your, we, we have gotten used to some weird ass motherfuckers. You're right. You know? You're right. You're right. That is very true. And I forget, I forget that. I forget that we live in Los Angeles. We live in LA. We live in Los Angeles. And I'm pretty sure there's someone listening to this that has half of a handlebar mustache. Oh yeah, for that's sure. The, that's the weird thing. For a damn sure. We, you know, and, and, and the lifestyle we live is we, we're in Holly weird. Yeah, that's so we, fair. We see a bunch of weird shit. All It's just normal to us. It's so normal. Yeah, that is true. All right. Well, I guess we got to have handlebar mustaches. I'm with it. I'm, I'm with it. Kinda. I'm like, I, I'm i picking the mustache because you make good points, but I don't want people to think that I'm not going to have to get used to this life. It's just a new life for me. You know, yeah. it's just a new life. I guess, man. Would you rather have armpits that smell like poop when you sweat or only be able to eat regurgitated food? I'm going to be smelling like shit. Go I, ahead. I'd rather smell like shit. Yeah, Go fuck ahead. that. I'd rather smell like shit. Regurgitated food. Because I already told you, I'm not a, I'm not a baby bird. You Listen, know what I'm saying? I would rather eat from my ass and shit from my mouth oh, than yes. take regurgitated food. Yeah, fuck it's that. Sad, I can't even say regurgitated correctly. <laughs> yeah, God damn it. That's not some shit you it's should hard. be saying. Listen, these, <laughs> I should have, I don't, there's, I didn't, there's no other word for <laughs> regurgitate. No. It's a. Throw it up. Yeah, no, see, I that's like not a, even the proper word. It has human to say, compost. It I guess. has to say regurgitated. Yeah, fuck me. I, I cry like a bitch, like I said, when I vomit. So I have if I have to eat like somebody food. else's vomit, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna drown in like cologne and body wash. Oh yeah, you're gonna smell even worse. I'm not. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna make sure I never work out. I'm just never gonna be able to work out again. Uh, but I'm even the, too, if it, you hop in the car, like I hopped in my truck today, and it was like kind of hot, and I started yeah, sweating right. a little bit. Yeah, you're right. That'd be a bad time to smell like shit. That'd be know? a horrible time. Horrible time to smell. That'd like be a shit. horrible time. Damn. In this nice, like this okay looking shirt, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when you're on the job. Yeah, and I was just doing photography too, so it's like damn cheese, like sh- yeah, shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can figure it out, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. You're gonna get. Listen, I think this will make you work harder yes. because your reviews are gonna be horrible. Oh yeah. He's an amazing photographer. Smells like shit, though. Smells but like he's shit. He's an amazing photographer. The body odor. I think I'll get is some awful. sympathy uh, clients because you, you know you really smell like no, shit. No, no. So think of it this way: you most of my brother does photography too, and most of his gigs are like one-year-old parties and like bridal showers. No one's gonna give you sympathy if the photographer smells like shit. No one's gonna be like, "Oh, I'll take him." Smelled like shit, but I mean, the photos are amazing. No. Photos are amazing. No I don't want to have my kids that. around him. No one's going to care like about shit. that. Right? It's a Spider-Man party. The photographer wants to ruin it for, by smelling like shit all day. You're going to get dismissed. You're going to be told to go like clean up or something. I don't know. Oof. But, Oof. Regurg- but <laughs> regurgitated food, I have to say it slowly, is a no. <laughs> Nothing else is gonna. Nothing's gonna taste good, yeah. especially too. It's already been in their stomach. Had those those acids touch it. Yeah, yeah. Last one. Would you rather only be able to walk on all fours, or 
only be able to sleep while you're at work. Oh, sleep while I'm at work. Nigga, fuck work. Ar- Shit. Arthur? <laughs> fuck work. Arthur, one, you do security. And two, you do photography. Yeah. Those are two jobs you can't just be taking, you can't just be sleeping on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't really call my photography work because it's something that I want to do. It's a passion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. That security so, shit hey, is cool. No, no, no. Backtrack. It's not what I want. Are you getting, you getting paid to do photography? Mm-hmm. Then it's a job. So you can't just be, don't be putting that little, don't be trying, know, to, nigga, don't be trying job, to do technicalities just, on this. job and oh, work well, is you know, different. like, you know, I, I, it's, it's a job, but it's more of like a passion within me. No, that's not how this works. You know what it means. You know exactly what it means. If you're getting paid, stand up comedy too. If you're getting paid, I'm down. I can sleep while I'm at work. While I'm in the green room waiting to go up, I will go to sleep. Fair. Because, that's yeah, fair. We got that's paid. Fair. That's got very paid fair. already. That's very fair. Yep. I think I I think I'll figure out sleeping at work. Yep. Walking on all fours is too much. That's a weird. Uh, Walking on all fours is just too much. There's this white girl who went viral. She uh, she's like, she walks on all fours, barks and shit, and she acts like a dog and like has this white dude like, he's her uh, he's her master. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking Yo, weird. it's one of those videos where you're watching it and you're like, I shouldn't be watching. I shouldn't like, be, watching, shouldn't be this. watching this. I should be doing something but better. Watch, but you with watch my the life. whole thing. Uh, I watch the whole damn thing. God, I watch man. the whole damn thing. Fucking internet. You want to? It's like you want to feel sorry for her, but no. then you're like, no, she chose this life. Yeah, she chose that life. She chose this life. She's very articulate. And her parents didn't yeah. give her any more money. Well, they gave her money to let her do whatever the fuck that she wanted to do. And uh, Amen. that's what she chose. That's what she chose. Fuck all of them. The freedom. The freedom. The, uh, the audacity. The caucasity. The shit. caucasity of it all. Guys, now it is time for our final choice. It is oh. a merry fuck kill. Arthur Hamilton, your three choices are Beyonce, Forever and Always. Uh, she's our constant choice. <laughs> Forever have, and always. We have Beyonce. We will do Michelle Obama, and we will do Tina Turner. Mary fuck kill Arthur. What are your choices? All right. Uh, I'm a Mary Beyonce. Okay. She fair. gonna take. She gonna. She gonna. That's fair. Not just take care of me, but you know, she gonna help me level up, start my own shit. It's That's gonna fair. be be amazing. Jay Z is a billionaire because of because Beyonce, of Beyonce. If we're being honest I'm with a, ourselves here, I'm a fuck Michelle Obama. Okay. Cause she's Michelle Obama. Cause she's fair. Michelle Obama. That's That's she got fair. a dump truck. That's and fair. You're gonna kill Tina Turner. I'm gonna kill Tina Turner after everything she's been through. Y- yes. Wow. I don't want that negative, those and those sexual demons on my soul. You know. Fair. Cause I I fucked her up. I don't need that kind of yeah. energy in my life. That's fair. All right. And then she be screaming all the time too. Oh yeah, shut the hell up. What do you mean she was screaming all the time? You know how she be singing. singing. <laughs> <laughs> At the bridal shower, they it had took this. me a minute. It took me a minute to get it. I was like, "What are you talking about? She's screaming, right? Oh are you talking? She's singing. She's singing. She's, She's singing. God damn it! <laughs> You're so mean to Tina Turner. All right, not, go. Not as mean as Ike was. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was very. Hold on one second. Oh snap! Yes, yes, yes. We have sound effects. <laughs> You're so mean. All right, this is hard for me. Uh, we said in the beginning of 2021 that no matter what, Beyonce dies and we figure the rest out. So Beyonce has to die. And yes, I know. I know. <laughs> don't, let, don't let nobody hear this. I know. I know. Yeah, cut I, this listen, part out. I'm not going to lie. Beyonce dies every episode. So, and then we figure it out. We figure it out from there. She's the greatest entertainer of all time. She's lived her life. There's nothing else for her to do in this world. <sighs> so Beyonce is dead. Now, the question is, do I marry Michelle? I don't. No, only because she's never going to love you like she loves. Though you're not going to, I'm never going to, you're not going to be as popular as Barack. Yeah, you're not going to get that Barack right? You're love. never going to get that Barack you're love. You're not going to get that Barack you're love. You're never. You will never get it. He was the president of the United States. He killed babies in Afghanistan yeah. and he, she still loved him. She still yeah. loved him. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to have to just fuck Michelle and marry Tina. You going to marry Tina Turner? No, nah, I got to marry Michelle. Never mind. Yeah, the way see? you said, yeah, okay. You okay. You going to marry fair. Tina That's Turner? Fair. That's fair. That's fair. No, thank you. How I'm old sorry. is she? She going to still be screaming. I don't know screaming. how old she is. Screaming at 65. But Michelle, Michelle's like a lawyer, like for real, for real. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to marry Michelle. I and you can level, I can level up with Michelle. Yeah, you can. I feel like I can level up with Michelle. Yeah, you can. We do some interviews, right? I don't, Barack's not dead. Barack's just out of the picture, mm-hmm. right? 
You'll be doing all his like uh his like tours, speaking and stuff. You know what I mean? Listen, if I marry Michelle Obama, the book is coming out. I was about to say year. you have to write sense? a book. You the have to write book a book. Is coming out. Yep, you gonna the talk. The book has to come out. Yep, you got to give details. I'm talk first first two chapters. I'm just talking shit about Barack Obama, <laughs> everything he did to her. <laughs> Second chapter, how did we meet? Uh -huh. I don't know. Tinder, who knows? Uh, who knows? Something crazy. <laughs> Blackpeoplemeet.com. Right? <laughs> and then that one time, that one time I fucked Tina, we'll get, that has to be in the chapter. Oh, yeah, that has that to. That has to be in the chapter. And then when you get interviewed about it, Michelle got to be sitting next to you like, damn, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Holding my hand with like a bonnet on her head. Ah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout, out, shout out to Mr. Jackson. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been our episode. This has been Tough Choice with Kazim Ramon. <laughs> I've been your host, Kazim Rahman, you can find me online at Kazim Comedy. That's K A Z E E M. Arthur, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Comedian Arthur. Uh, also, too, if you need some dope photography, you can find me on Instagram at Lewis Hamilton the Second Images. Boom. And all of that information will be in our show notes and tagged on Instagram yeah. and Facebook and the like. Yeah. And if you have a tough choice question or a may fuck kill you want us to consider email tough choice at outlook.com. That is tough choice at outlook.com. I I've been Kazim Ramon. This has been Arthur Hamilton. You guys have been amazing. Bye.